Hello friends! So I released a TikTok video a couple days ago making this t-shirt ruler. Now I used the Dollar Tree chopping mats to make this, but I also got asked where I got my template from. I actually made my own template. I know you can buy them from Etsy, but I chose to make my own. So this video is going to cover how to make the template and what settings to cut this on to make your own custom t-shirt ruler. So if you want to see it, keep watching. Okay, so in Design Space, the first thing I did was take a square and make it 10 inches wide by five inches tall. Once I had that one, I went ahead and duplicated it to make another one, but I changed the height on that one to two inches tall. So I selected both, went to align, I aligned it at the bottom and then I centered it horizontally. I then selected both again so I could slice the orange one out of the gray and then I deleted that dark gray one that was behind my orange one. I moved both of them down so I had room for my circle which I made 8 inches tall and I lined it up with the bottom of that gray rectangle. So I selected both centered it horizontally, and then aligned it at the bottom. But before I sliced, I selected the orange and gray rectangle to weld them together. Then I went ahead and sliced my circle out of the full rectangle. I went through and deleted all of the parts that I did not need, so I was left with my ruler shape. So I decided I wanted to add an arrow to mark the center part of my ruler, so I just went into images and found one through Design Space. Once I had it in my canvas, I rotated it 90 degrees, resized it, and then just generally put it at the bottom in the center so I could select the ruler and the arrow to align it at the bottom and then center it horizontally so it truly was in the center of the bottom of my ruler. I did decide to label it with the word center, so I rotated that as well, 90 degrees, resized it, and then I just selected the text and the ruler to center it horizontally. I did not need to align it at the bottom, just centering it horizontally. Then I selected the whole image and moved it up to the very top of the grid so I could use the grid lines to make my inch marks on my ruler. So I started at the top with my four inch mark and I just resized it. And then once I made my three inch mark, what I did is I went back to the four inch, copied the height, went into the three inch, and then pasted the height so that they were exactly the same height. And I did that all the way down for the two and then for the one as well. Once I got all my numbers on there in a general place, I went ahead and held the shift key to click them all so I could go to a line and center them horizontally. Then I just attached them so that I could select the numbers and the ruler to align them to the left and then attach them to the ruler. Then I just did the exact same thing on the other side. The only difference was I switched the order of the number and the dash so that the tick marks were on the very outside of the ruler. But same thing, once I got all my numbers sized and kind of where I wanted them, I selected them all, centered them horizontally, attached them, and then aligned them to the right and attached them to the ruler. So once I had everything kind of attached, I decided to add tick marks at the bottom. So I added a little dash and rotated it 90 degrees. After I rotated it, I used those grid marks again to mark off my one inch marks. This time though, I got a little bit smarter and duplicated two at a time to make the process just a little bit faster. But once I got them all on there, I held the shift key down again to select all my dash marks so that I could go to align and center them vertically this time. Then I just attached them so that I could select them and the ruler to align them at the bottom of the ruler. And then I just attached it to the ruler. Now I did decide to add a label that said adult t-shirt. So if I make more of these in the future in different sizes, I'll know which size this one is. Once I got that all situated though, I just selected the whole thing and attached everything together. Then I was ready to make it. So the cool thing about this though is you can customize this however you want. 
Now, for the cut setting, I went into Browse Materials and searched Stencil to find the Stencil Film setting. That is the one that I used. And then I just changed the pressure to more. So now I have my chopping mat. This is just what's left from the one I made yesterday. You kind of have like a rough side and then kind of a smooth side. I don't know if it matters, but yesterday I just did mine with the shiny side up and it worked fine for me and honestly these paper studio mats hold that on there great so you might have to tape it down just kind of depends and let's make it cut all right so now it's cut so you'll notice when you pull it off the mat it does not cut all the way through, but all you have to do is take your scissors and just trim it up. Now, I don't like to cut right up against the line because I kind of found when I made mine that it is a little bit easier if you take it and just kind of fold it where the cut line is at. It just makes it to where you're not trying to like cut down the straight line so I don't know that's just kind of what I noticed that's what I do so all you have to do now is just trim up the edges it will line up with the collar and but you have room to do kind of a bigger shirt as well now if i was to do this again i would probably make these little corners go up just a little bit higher but honestly this will work out great for what i want to do so i do plan on possibly going over this little like it's kind of etched in there with maybe like a black marker or something so it's a little easier to see but that is how I made my shirt ruler. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any other requests, just let me know.